I have a .NET application that throws exceptions all over the place. Yeah, I know that it's not a good idea, but I don't have time for a major refactor. So I wonder, in 2023, what's the best way to quickly handle all those exceptions with just a bit of code? Okay, I know that HaspNet has middlewares. And if a request goes through a pipeline of middlewares, maybe I can add one to the top and do the trick. A quick Google search says that I'm correct, but wait, .NET 8 was already released, so can't we do better? And actually, it looks like we can. iException Handler looks perfect for this scenario. So let's try it. Let's create a class Global Exception Handling and implement the interface. So first, I think it would be nice to log the exception. So let's create a field and initialize it through the constructor, log the exception using the trace ID, and perfect. Now we need to register this exception handler, otherwise .NET doesn't know that this exists. So let's go to the program CS and add it to the service collection. And as always, adding it to the service collection isn't enough. Let's say to the application that it should use the exception handlers. So let's run this thing. Okay, it will not work. Startup exception. Hmm, let me just try this. And it works. Okay, Microsoft, you could have done better on this one. Now my client's API is up and running, but when I do a post request to create a new client and I don't provide the email, I'm getting a 500 instead of a 400. I need a bad request, not an internal server error. So I don't want that. Maybe an if statement can solve that. Let me try. Let's update our exception handler, add an if statement, and since this beautiful interface gives us the HTTP context, let's change the status code. Let's run it, and now it works. So I know that I have another type of exception that keeps popping up, that is a timeout exception. So let me try exactly the same for that. So one more if statement. But let's stop here. I don't like how this thing is going. It's quite obvious that this code will keep growing, and doesn't look like that it will be easy to maintain in the future, so I don't like that. But maybe, maybe I can register multiple exception handlers. Let me try that. Let's move logging out of that. Create a new exception logging handler, implement the same interface, and let's keep it returning false. We don't handle the error here, we are just logging. Now that we have a new handler, let's go back to the program.cs and register one new exception handler, where right before the global exception handling, other matters. It's a pipeline. Now when we run this thing, it works perfectly. First, it will log all the exceptions and then go to the next handler in the pipeline. And if it's one of those two types of exceptions, it will convert the status code. But can we do something better? Sure we can. I want to give something better than a simple status code to my clients. I want to give them in the payload something meaningful, an error response body. And I really like the fact that we have RFCs to describe how we should handle status codes. Do we have something similar to the body? Okay, Google, there's any RFC regarding API error details. We have it. So let me do that in my API. Let's start with the invalid request. We go back into our exception handler, we find the if statement that we had there, and we write our response with the problem details. The cool thing is that in .NET, we already have a class for that. And we can point to an explanation of that type of problem and also return some more details about why this thing is happening. Let's update the other exception as well. We do it to the timeout exception, but now I don't like the state of this thing once again. Too many things going on in a single file. Maybe we can take advantage of that pipeline of handlers and segregate all the responsibilities that are inside of this single method. Let's create a new handler that is the invalid request exception handler. And let's make sure we return early. This will delegate the work to the next handler. And this time, make sure you return true. We want to stop the chain right here. It's not worth it to go to the other types of exceptions when we know that we already handled the exact one. And now we can convert the existing global exception handler into a kind of a catch-all exception handler. We don't need to check exception types, we just reply with a 500 response. So now, one last thing, let's go back into the program.cs, update the registration, add the new ones before the catch-all, and now, my friends, with just a few lines of code, we have the responses we want. I confess that now I'm moving a lot of middlewares that I have that were doing exception handling into exception handlers in .NET 8. But this is not the only feature that I'm adopting everywhere when I'm migrating to .NET 8. And you can see the other one in action right here in this video where I explain you 
how .NET 8 is changing the way that we control the flow of time and how useful that is in terms of testing.